So here we are en route to Cascais, Lima, Papa, Charlie, Sierra, in Portugal. Tracking nicely. The Echo Sierra Papa VOR radio 150 inbound. It's tilled here on 112 decimal. Now in the aid of GPSs, it's easy to lower our guard regarding that recording, but it's a good habit to always cross-check our position with the charts and with the visual references on the ground. So if we see the GPS, We are here in route to, to the Echo Sierra Papa VR nice. Well, we should just our charts for cross-reference. So what's in the chart? In the chart we see the town of Cines, right in front of us, which is there. Another visual check is this lake here in front of Cines, which we can also see right there, so that's a good cross-check. What else can we use? Of course we can use the the shoreline. And that river over there is Vila Nova de Mil Fontes, the town of Portugal. It's also a good waypoint for cross-checking our position, which is here, and that's the river, you could see, and the town Vila Nova de Mil Fontes. With this lake and this town and the coastline, so we know exactly where we are. Now say we don't have enough ground features to determine our position. So what we could use is uh, VORs. What VORs are, do we have available? We have the Echo Sierra Papa VOR we are flying through, of course, and here we can also use Sagres on 113.1. One one three decimal nine. So let's tune that and see what bearing it gives us. I'm gonna tune one one three decimal nine. Identify. That's it for Sierra Gold Romeo. Now I'm gonna center the needle to see what bearing it gives us. Because we have a two, the radial is on the bottom. Gives us a radial of zero one zero. Do you agree, Rob? Uh, yeah, zero one zero zero one two. Yeah, zero one two, and that gives us if we draw a bearing on the chart. It's directly north of Sagres. Okay, I'm going to use the GPS because it's more comfortable here than charge while I'm recording. So we can... There is Sagres. If I align the map north up, we can see that we are north of Sagres VOR on a bearing of 012. That's the QDR, the radial, from the station. And then for Echo Sierra Papa, if we do the same, we're flying a radial of 330 more or less. Again with a 2, our bearing is uh, 145. And that's a uh, 145 for Echo Sierra Papa if we draw the line. And the other line with both intersect, that's our position on the map. So that works nicely. I think I'm satisfied with that. We are using really three sources of navigation information. We are using VORs, we are using the GPS, and we are using visual landmarks in our charts. So with all that information, it's really difficult to get lost. Especially on a day like this? On a day like this, yeah. Actually, with a coastline like that, it's really hard to get lost. You must be trying to get lost with, with such a beautiful coastline.
I think we, we could be satisfied with our navigation performance. What do you think, Rob? Oh, yeah. That's good. Now, here it's easy. But say you're flying in the desert and there's nothing. There's only sand over everywhere. Now, you wouldn't be able to use uh, natural features, but hopefully you would use your GPS and your VORs, if there are VOR stations. And if not, if everything else fails, you still have your GPS. But remember to carry a power bank with you in case your iPad dies. What we see over there, CNES. Very beautiful day for flying. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you on the next one. Bye.